So I hope you found the Belshi Beats tutorial helpful and interesting. Don't forget to open the PDF document that accompanies it. So now we're going to move on to the nature recording. As I've mentioned previously, I feel it's really important these days to connect to the environment around us and to document it. A field recording or a soundscape is a very creative and interesting way of doing this. I've been inspired by a soundscape ecologist called Bernie Krauss. Um, he's made lots of wild natural soundscapes from different biospheres around the world. A biosphere is a zone where living organisms are found. And I chose a biosphere at the foot of the South Downs in Sussex. It's a beautiful spot there with a stream running through, a big lake, um, and there are lots of uh, bird song, insect sounds, and reeds. Um, the equipment I used was obviously my mobile phone and some headphones and my H2N external recorder. It's not essential to use a recorder and headphones. Um, you can just use your phone, that's perfectly fine. Um, I've put some more information in the PDF document about that. Um, I also made a little video to accompany the audio recording. Again, it's not essential to make a video. The audio recording is perfect in itself, but I just wanted to do this to show you that you can do it within five, 10 minutes on your phone. Again, I'll put a little bit more information on the PDF document about that. But here's a short extract for you, the final film you can see at the end of the tutorial. So the audio recordings I made in the fields were quite short recordings um, and so I then went into Banlab and I looped them and I layered them to make the, make the soundscape. So now let's go into the application and I'll show you how I did that. So this is the arrange window of the Biosphere recording. It was much more straightforward technically than Belchie Beats because there's less tracks. I didn't use any reverb or effects because I wanted it to sound as natural as possible for the listener, recreating the soundscape of the biosphere I was in. So to begin with, I imported my audio files separately and put them here. Okay, so the stream recording, as you can see, was quite short. I think someone's baby was crying. So I truncated it and then looped it to last throughout the length. And the crickets, for example, I had them coming in and then out again, just trying to make it sound as natural as possible as it was in the field. And when I was happy with that, I then used the automation. So in BanLab, automation is used to control volume and pan in. Here I just used it to subtly control the fade ins and fade outs. For example, the crickets here, you just hear them fading in. just so it didn't go in too harsh to begin with. And then when I was happy with the automation, I, as, as to mix, I used the faders to get a good mix. And then I mixed down as we've done before. And then I published it just here to share with the online community. So you can see here the mix of the Biosphere recording shared to the online community at BanLab. One person's liked it already. And don't forget to listen to the full video and recording I've shared with you. Thanks very much.